Justin Bond speaking. When I was about 12, 12 years old, I discovered Dickens and I read, say, David Copperfield, huh? and I was enchanted by it. And I identified in a way with its uh, uh, narrator and hero, young David Copperfield, and who grows up to become a writer. And in the process, also, he does things like running away from home, etc., which I emulated um, in a rather <laughs> silly fashion. It kept such an impression on me that when I started writing it, it I was sort of identifying with young David, you know? And uh, it, so, so perhaps that book, more than any other, hmm? uh, made a difference. Reading gives you such a, not just knowledge, but an understanding of human nature and of, and in a way you become more reflective. So you can ask questions about, about life, about your own problems, your own doubts, uh, and sometimes you'll find the answer in what you read. Or you can look for what, look for answers and find them too. Read India Celebration 2021 International in association with Republic Media Network is proud to present the stories of RIC 2020 winners. The story of Delhi's part Banerjee who loves to read and experiment. Pothi pothi par par jag mua, pandit bhayo na koi, dhai akhar prem ka pade su pandit hoi. I am Pat Banerjee from Class 8th Bloom Public School C8 Vasankunj, New Delhi. I am from a family of four, that is me, my younger brother and my parents. My hobbies are experimenting and reading. I like experimenting because it tells me how it's done, what is it about. And I like reading because it, because it makes me familiar, it makes me visualize the whole world. The RIC session for me was very amazing and I will cherish this my whole life because I have bagged many beautiful moments with it. RIC has helped me open the doors to Vivek, Avivek, Gyan, Agyan, how people affect societies and how societies are affected by people. Most of the schools promote literacy more than education but the true essence lies in education because educated people are the ones who mold societies and help them progress for a better future. I read the stories of Raja Ram Mohan Roy, Mahatma Gandhi, Nelson Mandela, Rosa Parks, Gautam Buddha and many more. Kabir Das, the great poet said, Pothi pothi par par jag mua, pandit bhayo na koi, dhai akhar prem ka pade su pandit hoi. This means that even after reading various books, if you don't read it with essence, it's of no use. But even if you read this two and a half words of Prem, then you can make a big difference. I would like to congratulate all the participants who are there to express themselves, to show their point of view. And also read, not just to read, but to think and act because we are the future of the nation. And if we progress, the nation will progress. The story of Delhi's Khushi Seth, who loves to read and write. lead to old and broken ways. To build a world that we desire, we must pave our own path, our own way. My name is Kushi Seth. I'm a student of grade 8 from Tigore International School, Vasant Vihar, New Delhi. I'm 12 years old. I live in a family of five, which includes me, my sister, my parents, and my aunt. A few of my hobbies include reading and writing. Reading helps me connect to different people from all across the globe and listen to their perspectives. And writing, especially short stories and poems, helps me express myself. Participating in RIC 2020 made me realize that unless you are given an environment that freely allows you to express yourself, you will not be able to realize your full potential. I'm glad that RIC gave me the opportunity to do that. The book that I read for participating in RIC 2020 was Young Change Makers. It really influenced me because it was a book about stories of kids from all across the nation who were my age, fighting for causes like helping acid attack survivors, donating blood to those who need it, fighting for the environment 
and even fighting for the right to education. This book taught me that old paths lead to old and broken ways. To build a world that we desire, we must pave our own path, our own way. What I want to tell you all is that while you're participating, just be yourself and have a lot of fun because you can only be recognized by others once you recognize yourself. The story of Guwahati Zara Sheikh who loves to read and paint. I would say that I'm an introvert until somebody says the word books. Hello everyone, my name is Zara Sheikh. I'm 18 years old. I was born in Mumbai, Maharashtra and raised in Guwahati, Assam. I recently completed my higher secondary education from Marius Public School, Guwahati. I would say that I'm an introvert until somebody says the word books. Then I can go on and on for days talking about it. I write, paint, read, design. I play badminton too. So the list of hobbies go on and on. So RIC 2020 was a great experience. I have to say that RIC is a one of its kind platform out there and I consider myself so lucky to have been a part of it. So the book I selected was The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho. Aside from the fact that it's such a great book, it's so soulful, I also read it when I was very young. So the messages that I got from it carried on throughout my teenage life still now. Like I still go back and try to read it and understand its message all over again. So the things that I learned from the book was that failure is inevitable and all you have to do is ensure that you never give up and you use every failing point in your life as a stepping stone to move ahead in life. So that these two things really helped me go through life and that's why I chose this book for RIC 2020. To the participants of RIC 2021, I would tell you all to treat it more like a celebration instead of a competition, okay? So that would really help change your mindset and help you become more confident in yourself. And I would also tell you to have a true and honest opinion so that you have your own individual voice in this whole celebration. Personalities across the nation exclusively spoke to Republic Media Network on Read India Celebration. So books have always played an important role in my life, uh, be it in helping me becoming an actor, to inspiring me in my everyday life, uh, because I looked at it as as a single most uh, important source of knowledge. Uh, being a history fanatic, I always believe uh, how else I would have ever gotten to know about the most important event that had happened hundreds of centuries ago if it was not documented in, in a book at that time. And uh, now all of us, we are actually blessed to, to have an access to such vast knowledge which is almost like a holy grail and we should make the most out of it. Because books can actually uh, help you think better, make you, it actually makes you a better person uh, and in my perspective. Recommend the, the new generation of India to you know, read, to read India. I started reading at a very young age, six, seven, I think, because in those days there was no TV, there was no other entertainment other than books. So in my time, we started reading very early. Over a period of time, gradually you read different type of books, different experiences, and you change gradually. So my change in life is gradual with many, many books. I have read different genre, uh, you, know, you know, novels, travelogues, technical books, then real life experiences, biographies, autobiographies. Over a period of time, things have changed for me. More than the children, I want to tell their mother. Okay, you want your children to read books, you should read books. You should read books. And you should always give, at least in school, college level, I feel, you should give gifts, only books. No other things for birthday should give. Hi guys, I hope all of you are doing well. Uh, thank you very much uh, for having me on your show. I am not uh, a big, big uh, book reader, but uh, I've read just very few books. But out of those few, few books, uh, you know, one of the book, which is my favorite, uh, it's, it's called The Secret. 
it's uh, it's an outstanding book you know it is a very very positive book which changed me as a person you know we have so much of negativity around us nowadays uh, you know i would recommend a lot of youngster to read this book uh, you know it, it's it's amazing you know once you'll read you'll understand you know how by thinking good or thinking positive you know you can get positive results of uh, of everything you want to achieve all i want to say that uh, keep learning whatever way you want to learn in life and uh, yes books sometime it helps i'm sure a lot of people say ki books uh, really really help but mujhe lagta hai books ke sath sath jo aapka personal experience hai you meet people you learn from them that is what i think uh, the most important things Hello everyone this is Raghuram Manantoj and you're watching Read India Celebrations 2021 International in association with Republic Media Network Taking a nostalgic ride back in the days I hardly remember reading anything much apart from textbooks But today's kids do not want to pause they do not want to be stopped This invincible spark in them is transformative and what is more transformative is the power of reading books. Read India Celebration 2021 International will provide school and college students a unique opportunity to indulge in non-academic reading and enable the read think and act factor in children for them to strive further. At the show today we have an esteemed set of panelists without further ado let me introduce you all to the day's guests. It's my privilege to welcome Dr. B Singh, counselor for CBSE and a qualified trainer, assessor and examiner for CBSE and QCI. Now, education, books, life, Shaheen Mistry aims to give it all. She is the CEO and founder of Teach for India and is ensuring after school education to students from low income communities. Welcome to the show Shaheen. It's a pleasure to have you with us today. Kasturi Chatterjee is the principal at Gitanjali Devashtri Secondary. Mrs. Chatterjee holds over 23 years of experience with students and teaching. Welcome to the show Mrs. Chatterjee looking forward to the discussion. And we have with us yet another person who's been playing the role of a guru with Read India Celebration. Dr. Pradeep Kumar Raman Charla is a professor for earthquake engineering and the registrar at IIIT Hyderabad, and he's associated with RIC as a guide and chief mentor for over six years now. Welcome to the show, Pradeep. <clears throat> All right, time to start the discussion. I would like to take the first question with uh, Shaheen. Do you think uh, the Indian education system needs to divide its teaching focus between mere theoretical subjects and practical learnings? Your question is a very, very important one. I'm very much on the side of practical learning. I think everything our kids learn needs to have meaning, needs to have. purpose um and i think there's a beautiful way to integrate traditional high rigor academics with real life uh learning uh one of my favorite examples is a high school i visited where the entire year's curriculum was building an actual three bedroom house that's what the kids were doing with their hands and they were learning all of their concepts their values through the building of a of a house so it is possible there are examples globally and across our, our country showing us how that integration is possible i think that's a very um, uh, innovative um, perspective shaheen yes you know practical learning uh, is a, is a must for uh, you know holistic development of uh, the students absolutely uh dr singh coming to you uh, what kind of subjects uh, can be included in the curriculum for practical learnings of course there are three kind of children we have uh, as such there are visual auditory kinesthetic children so we need to devise curriculum and the course as per their needs aligning their interest their methodology the techniques of learning they love they like they admire so the curriculum of course will be in formal uh, reading as you have very rightly suggested 3 hours reading the books reading for self 
and reading situations and generating innovative ideas. I have tried this experiment in some other schools. I said, you find out what had been your earlier generation, six, seven, eight generations, and create a document as per your learning style, maybe in the form of audio, if you are auditory, maybe in the form of PPT or a chart or a flashcard, if you are visual, and maybe you create your own video, you find out some uh, relevant documents available, some albums are available, photographs are available, videos are available. You do a compilation, you add on to them, and then you come out with the, the your statement, how much you understand to yourself. So this kind of curriculum can be added to our uh, non-academic domain. I think very well said, you know, uh, the role non-academic reading has played in my life personally. I think it's far more than the academic reading. If anything has taught me independent thinking, if anything has taught me the essence of knowledge, which is the essence of life, I would say it is the non-academic reading. And reading self, if a subject, with, uh, as you mentioned, you know, about reading self, about human potential, about creativity, can be included as part of the academics, I think that can be a game changer in our education system. Now, I, I, I would like to ask a story. You interact with students on a daily basis. What kind of books uh, do you think will help shape the young minds? Uh, what are your suggestions for students to read? You know, working with children, I have found that these days, kindness, emotions, empathy are missing. I will definitely not name any particular book, but I want, I want children to read books which, through which they can learn how to be kind, how to express their emotions, and not to harass others, not to bully others. I want them to respect others' views, you know, and, and they should learn how to respect differences, which I don't find in children these days. Coming to Pradeep, how do you think a campaign uh, like Read India Celebration fulfills the purpose of uh, enabling students to think independent and act? First of all, this entire celebration is about reading. So this encourages students to read wide variety of books of their interest. Now, if uh, students uh, collect a uh, lot of information, then they will have uh, freedom to uh, think and come to their logical conclusions. And then after that, acting on those conclusions will be easy. So these conclusions, so with these conclusions, what will happen is they will be able to differentiate between what is the essence and what is the form and from casualness to commitment level. Rightly said, Pradeep, RIC is going to produce leaders for tomorrow. I will be coming to Dr. Singh right after these bites uh, from George Murky and Raj Panisetti. As the mission of uh, Read India Celebration states, reading non-academic books on various themes and topics is a great stepping stone for building future workforce and leaders. Importantly, uh, expanding the horizon and imagination of future citizens. These books uh, enable a student to read, think, and act, and form their own perspective. Today, uh, corporates look for a workforce that has a broader and deeper thinking. At an early age, if students can understand how much reading can stimulate their imagination and how much it exercises their brains, books will be their best friends. Talking about reading, it has become a casualty these days. Students are forgetting to read the books. They're only worried about the academics. Now, don't you want time to read and derive pressure out of this? Dear students, Grab a book. Maybe you can start with a comic book like this. Then go on to become more mature readers and read books as big as this. 
Dear teachers, please encourage your students to read books and be part of their growth. Okay, uh, coming back to you, Dr. Singh. Yes. Should the students uh, be examining for life skills during the higher secondary before they move to college? And, uh, you know, how do we ensure that their independent thinking capability is enabled, enhanced? How do we do this if we plan to implement it? See, as regard life skills, there is a lot of ritual going on in the schools. There is a curriculum, there are books, but life skills cannot be taught through curriculum and the books like that. Basically, there must be challenges. A situation is provided. We do experiment, we try out something. Whether we get success or we get failure, we do a lot of learning through failures also. So basically, life skills should be taught through mentoring, monitoring, role models, role plays, some brainstorming sessions, discussions, formative way of teaching and learning, not summative way, not a formal way, basically. In one of my training sessions, one of the teachers said, sir, my uh, son says, Mummy, is it possible that question paper is in the form of songs and we answer in the form of songs only? So what is this? It's a different kind of learning. So we have to do a lot of experiments, out of box thinking. Thank you. Right. I, I think experimentation, you know, unless the systems don't experiment, do something new, the kids will never do that. I think that is where, you know, the problem solving capabilities can be enhanced by giving them new you know, opportunities which are not in the academics. L let me now go to uh, Shaheen. Shaheen, the access to education is, uh, is limited in India. Uh, tell us, how do we ensure that low-income communities or people with uh, low social backgrounds also get the benefits of non-academic reading? Yeah, thank you for that important question. And how do we do this for every child in the country is really the big question. And and my answer is not an easy one. And, and that is really that I think we need leadership at all levels of the system committed to getting books, reading, a high quality education to all children. We need to make a bigger investment in education. We need to make a bigger investment in books and in tabs now, if we don't want the digital divide to grow. And the last thing I'll say, and this is sort of the most important thing in my heart nowadays, is how do we involve our children in getting this to happen across our country? You know, I think often on this panel and others, we are, we are experts sitting on panels very far from the ground talking about what children need. Can we flip that and bring our children into the conversation, get our kids to actually be our real partners at all levels of the system? I think if you took this challenge to India's 250 million school-going children, and you said, how do we get non-academic reading to every child? they would be able to generate ideas that perhaps have wisdom beyond the, even all of us. I think, you know, I love that idea that kids, students should be, you know, given that opportunity to share their views, their ideas, so that they can address the whole idea of reading your celebration is that, you know, they become the problem solvers. They start addressing their own issues. I think that's a fantastic, you know, point of view, uh, Shaheen. Parents and teachers of India, if not independent thinking and knowledge, what is the most priceless gift you can give to your students and children? Thank you, Dr. Singh, Shaheen Mistri, Kasturi Chatterjee, Dr. Pradeep Raman Charla for joining us today. It was wonderful having a discussion on the transformative powers of books. If the nation wants to transform, the nation needs to read. I reiterate, read. You were watching Read India Celebration 2021 International in association with Republic Media Network. Stay tuned. Visit www.readindia.info and scroll the page down to RIC 2021 International. You will find an icon that says click to participate. Click on the icon and you will find the details.
To register, click on login or register icon on the top right of your screen. In case of queries, you can call 8688120864 or write to Read India Celebration 2021 at gmail.com. Registrations are open till 15th August. Hurry up, register now in India's biggest knowledge festival.